Now that we have created the first recess, it is time to create the second one. I am talking about this recess over here. As you can see, these two recesses are perpendicular to each other. The first recess is basically in the xz plane. The second recess needs to be in the xy plane. From the drawing, I can figure out that the width of the recess is 12.6 millimeter and the length of the recess is basically the length of this section over here which is 86 millimeter. The depth of the recess starts from here all the way till over here. So the depth of the recess would be 56 which is the diameter of the first section minus 37.5 which is the diameter of the second section over here divided by 2 because we don't want the diameter we want the radiuses which equals to 18.5 millimeter. So basically I have to create a rectangle of 12.6 by 86 and then extrude it down to 18.5 millimeter from this surface over here. So I'll create a rectangle over here and then extrude it down in this direction. So go to NX. Now the first thing I'll have to do is to create a datum plane which is perpendicular to the first recess. So the first recess as you can see is in the xz plane. So the second needs to be in the xy plane. Select the datum plane and select this plane over here. NX will create automatically a datum plane. Now I want to define where the datum plane should be. The datum plane should be on this surface, the one in the red that is highlighted. That surface is 28 millimeter from the center. The diameter is 56, hence the radius is 28 millimeter. So I'm just going to select offset over here, distance as 28, and hit enter. So as you can see, the datum plane is created at a tangent. Hit OK. Go to sketch. In the specify CSYS, select this plane over here, the one that we just created. Hit OK. Now NX will automatically default to the sketch view. Select the rectangle option, select the first option over here and create a random rectangle somewhere over here. Now I know the, the width of the rectangle needs to be 12.6 millimeter. Double click on this dimension and put 12.6 millimeter. The length needs to be 86 millimeter. Go to rapid dimension, select this point all the way to this point, close. Double click and put 86 and close. So now I have created the rectangle. One thing I want is that the rectangle needs to be centered to this shaft. Again go to rapid dimension, select this point, select the center of this circle over here and the horizontal distance needs to be 0. Hit enter, and close. Again go to rapid dimension. Now select the center of the line over here and the center of the circle and the vertical distance needs to be 0. Close. Now you can see that I have created a rectangle which is perfectly centered to the shaft. Click on the finish sketch. Select the extrude button over here and select our rectangle. Now I don't want the rectangle to be going up, I want it to go down. So this distance 18.5 
should be 0 and the start distance should be minus 18.5 so it will go down make sure that the boolean is subtract select body to be the whole body and hit ok in this way you have created the second recess now you can hide all the sketches that you don't want just right click on the sketch and select hide we don't want the datum plane as well right click on the datum plane select hide and hide 